Hey anyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Avion Camera, where today we're watching Ms. Marvel Episode 4. Last episode was... Well, it was nuts. Because a lot of the things that I thought would slowly happen across the rest of the show happened all at once in a single episode. Which is actually kind of great, since it leaves the next three episodes open for a lot of interesting things to happen. Uh, well, last episode particularly ended with, you know, there was a fight with the Jins, but then Damage Control came in and actually helped by arresting the Jins. Who knows how long that'll last, though. But then Kamala's grandmother called and said, you just have to come to Pakistan and then cut the phone. So the question is, will this episode have her going to Pakistan or will she spend an entire episode trying to convince her mother and then we have to wait until episode 5. Why waste time talking about it when we can just watch the episode? So, let's just get into it. Oh! She's on the plane! How? After how... Like, badly you ended the last episode. What makes you say that? It doesn't... Make sense that you're on this plane, but whatever, you're here. Convinced her. a napping pillow. Because your nanny is very old. Is there a stranger sat in the middle seat? Because to be fair, I don't like the middle seat, but it is kind of rude to split yourself between the window and the aisle and let some rando be in the middle. Exactly. Just very uncomfortable for everyone. Ah, oh, that's cool. It's in the. So apparently, just because Grandma asked, she decided to go. Which is. Okay, I thought you didn't like your mom, but. Never mind. Must have gotten that wrong. Zainab and Oasis, you are taller than I remember. Yeah, it's you always fun to be, shorter. you know, like, hey, you remember these people, right? Like, y yeah, sure, totally. I, it's been a while, but why not? Hey, look, it's her in entirety, rather than just like the weird phone angles. Welcome home, baby. Thank you. It's good to be here. So I guess they're generally on good terms. <laughs> okay, fine. Hey. It's yeah, I'm happy to see them on nicer terms. It makes things much simpler, and it's much nicer than some kind of weird family quarrel. <laughs> ah, the lack of road laws. Fine, this is Pakistan, but similar enough to India. Titles are cool. Well, there's one or two under them. Ah, uh, and gates. Yeah, lots of houses and communities have gates in India and Pakistan. Because, to be fair, I'm not exactly sure on the why. But, <laughs> is it wrong to say I'm jealous of her grandparents' house? Okay, time for the why real questions. This to me? A pangle. Why? Am I... I, I... I don't see what the whole bus is about. It's just genetics. No. The day you left India. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's, that's important, right? She She's freaking out about, oh my god, I'm part Jin. It's like, that doesn't mean much. Because just because you're part Jin does not mean you're immediately evil. Yes. Okay, but why? Trying to tell you something, beta, to figure it out. Okay, is it time for some meditation? Oh, no, Go into the spirit world? Like figure out how to different things and watch the whole vision? That's quite a puzzle. You learn to find beauty in the pieces. Interesting. That, okay, everything may be broken, but that doesn't mean it's all terrible. Please stop. Oh jeez, nightmares. Never helpful. Mala, please don't be weird. We're here to visit. The what do you mean, please visit. don't be weird? You just flew all the way from New York to Pakistan yesterday. It is entirely normal for this girl to be jet lagged to hell and back. I remember the first time I went to India by myself as a child. I thought I was so good. Then I went to their house and I'm like, yeah, yeah, I have all the energy. And then I fell asleep for a good 10 hours straight. 
Yeah, yeah, and it's hot as hell. One of the things I'm least looking forward to in my upcoming India trip. Not a typical Pakistani name. Hey, they actually addressed it in the show. That's quite kind of important. I remember when my dad saw the trailer for this, he started laughing about the name Kamala not being Pakistani. It's like, yeah, that's kind of part of the story. I think something else. Bonnie Puri. Did you not warn me this thing was death? Oh, come on, Kamala, don't be weak. You can't eat Pani Puri one at a time. You gotta eat them like dozens at a time. <laughs> Enough for the ABCD's Instagram. You know, American born, confused, they see. Yeah, I thought so. American. Man, have I been called that? I think I've been called that like once or twice. Hey. You look lost. No. Why wouldn't you ask your cousins? Don't take the picture. It's a scam. The second they give you the picture, there it is, fifteen hundred rupees. Little, little bit right. Yeah, maybe it would have been helpful to ask your cousins before they left you behind, right? But you found it. Ah, uh, the last time I was on a train in India, but very similar to these trains, I was very small. But the most important part was I, like an idiot, left an entire case of DVDs on that train. Lost a huge chunk of my movie collection. And I don't know why half of this is reaction is just my stories, but hey, <laughs> something interesting at least. Hey, she's putting that on. But, um, you think no one would recognize you, Kamala? No one else is wearing jeans. Or a Jersey City, like, at least button up the shirt. Hey, Ant Man. <laughs> Who wouldn't expect it to him here? What the flip? There's a knife. Found you. Found who? Not Why are you a ninja? So worse. Those glasses you tied on or that mask? <laughs> Your karate has nothing to do with my superpowers. Do all masked Americans have superpowers? Well, how do you know I'm not Canadian? That's a good. Getting better at this banter thing. <laughs> good job. Don't get don't get distracted. Keep looking because he'll keep throwing stuff at you. You can't throw for shite. Come with me if you want to live. What? Really? Did you just say? <laughs> okay, good. Uh, but really, we <laughs> at least go. there's someone you need to meet. This again? Okay, follow the strange boy to figure out something. <sighs> Your mom asked you to do one thing and not to cause problems. Take the mask. Ooh, secret door. This is fun. It's a very large secret door. Welcome to the Red Daggers. To the Red Daggers? Fun. Did not expect... Fuck is that boy man? Did not expect a new organization. Oh no, this is far more... What the hell is this? <laughs> but for a descendant of Aisha, I'm sure we can make an exception. Okay, so you figured it out. My name is Walid. We have much to discuss. Okay, Kamala, you need to remember this time you cannot Why trust them. Sour soup so red? That scarf has protected the identity of warriors willing to take on the mantle of the red dagger. Oh, How so she gets a scarf from these guys? Or the is the scarf that Jen. was also in the but box the from these guys? Like the djinn, you've heard about stories on religious texts. I mean, if Thor landed in the Himalayan mountains, he too would have been called a djinn. The clandestines and Aisha are from another realm. Yes, they said as much. What's new? Oh, that's cool. Yes. Ooh, we got a new fancy holographic display technology. There are many dimensions around us that we cannot see. It's it's really funny that even Miss Marvel has gotten into the multiple reality dimension thing. This is just really phase four, huh? Behind the veil of noon. Cool visualization, that's for sure. What do you seek is seeking you. DODC Supermax Prison. Oh! So this is the place from the Shield trailer. Because I was wondering what that weird pointy building was. 
Also, what's the point of the DODC Supermax Prison when you can when you also have the raft? Oh, now you care about him. You were so ready to kill him when he was fighting against you. To be fair, if they were going to escape this easily, I don't know how they got this far into the facility. Okay, you still have your weapons. That's helpful for you. He's not coming with us. Oh, you choice. witch! I knew it! I knew she didn't care about him. Just fall, just run after them anyway. Come on, there's nothing you can do. So you found me in my hiding spot. You're this is a large balcony. It's not really a stairs. hiding spot. And I thought I needed a break. <laughs> People are claiming So it's very interesting that they're clearly trying to create some kind of you know, story link between the partition, a very real and serious event, with the dimensional barrier between clandestines and where they came from and ours and of course that also the bear like Kamala has like this one side of the superhero and this one side of trying to be a life and she has to tear and she has to figure out something new hey go. that's fun go be yeah you like biryani yes who I doesn't really like biryani out of a bag before. is it spicy <laughs> <laughs> she just asked me if it was spicy. <laughs> Come on! Come on, you gotta have a better... Look, I don't actually blame you. I blame your mom. Because she clearly wasn't making things spicy enough for you if you have such a low spice tolerance. So I just kept them around just in case you came back. I made oh. most of them... Guilt trip. <laughs> Let me help you. You know how mothers are. I don't understand her reaction. What happened? <laughs> you were just crying two seconds ago. What was this cut? <laughs> it looks like they made up after two seconds. <laughs> Wait, you don't crunch on toffee. You let it sit in your mouth. Right. Am I crazy? Okay, so they're going to help her do more training. Cool. Your humanity links you to the matter of this world. There is history in every thread of this fabric. So you Ooh, wait, you could that be the base of her costume? Am I a dagger now? I'm very curious to see how her costume- Oh shit! How did you guys get here so fast? <laughs> Come on, show us what you got, bro! What's with that knife on your belt if not to use it? Are you kidding me? I'm sure there must have been a- Nope. I guess you gotta have a cliche, cliche kind of car chase in these things, right? <laughs> yeah, there's no faster. <laughs> oh no, oh no. Jeez. <laughs> Worked out pretty well. Oh, jeez, what? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. They're still mono wheeling it. <laughs> Honestly, if this gets on the news, then the mom doesn't realize that Kamala is nightlight. It's kind of foolish. Oh god, again with the going reverse first, come on. <laughs> Just hit him. Come on, this is some very good time for you to use your powers and get above the buildings. Oof. Man, this guy's good. Oh shoot, he got killed. Dang it. Flammable. Jeez! Why take off your mask? It's a dead end. It's not a dead end. Use your powers. Go up. <laughs> Love how there's some times where she's like completely surprised about what she just did. Careful! Damn it! Focus, kids. You're in fight. 
Huh? Oh, you killed him. Good job. That was crazy. Oh, shoot. You hit the bangle, which means we're going to probably see some ish. Some type of. Okay. Time for a full flashback, I guess. All this kind of nonsense. Yes, this is a TV show, sure, whatever, but this tragedy, this stuff happened in real life because some dumbos decided to just randomly draw lines and create countries. Like, why? Why not let the people who actually live there decide how the hell they should be set up? Instead of this rampant, like, flee to get to your zone before the time ends. You better not end the episode right here. It's a great cliffhanger, but still. What did I just say? Ah! Uh, hey, and I'm happy. They changed up the ending. Now that we're not in New Jersey anymore, there's a new version of it in Karachi. And that was Seeing Red. No, not the movie. That was the title of the episode. Because... Well, Kamala went to Pakistan, and I half figured this would happen, right? It would, we would just be going straight there, but whatever, you heard me at the beginning. I didn't know what would happen. I'm glad we skipped any extra drama, and we just went straight here. And the show is continuing the breakneck pace it started last episode. It wants to do a lot of stuff, and it is going to do it, and it is pushing through. The episode title is obviously... Um, largely based on the fact that she found some unexpected a allies, the Red Blades. I'm sorry, your name wasn't really <laughs> that memorable for me to remember. But they, she found some unexpected allies, some ninjas who knew everything about what was going on and conveniently you gave her more exposition on the dimensions and how they layer together. As I said in my reaction, it's very interesting that this tops it. This really makes Phase 4 not just the phase of Wong, but the phase of dimensions and the multiverse and all that stuff. Because, I mean, here we are yet again. Here we are dealing with an alternate dimension. And hey, this is very similar to Shang-Chi, which hey, went to Talo was in, in another dimension. And for then, that character also got superpowers from Magic Bangles. I didn't expect the show to come to Pakistan. That was not something ever I expected when this was first announced. But I'm really glad it has done so. Just this change of setting makes the show so much more unique feeling. Because the first three episodes where she's figuring out how to superhero in the city, well, it's like, that's been done before. We've seen Peter Parker, right? But actually coming here, that changes, that, just the change in the environment, even if the same kind of things are happening, well, that makes it so much more interesting, at least visually, to look at. The coat that she got from the Red Blades and the, you know, the red scarves they're talking about definitely seems like important pieces that will tie into her you know, proper Miss Marvel costume. When she gets that, probably by the end of, I'd say, episode six. You know, kind of Netflix show style. They only get their super suits in the final episode. So that will inform that, at least th that uh, uh, costume. And we'll get to see that costume for like one episode before, you know, the Marvel's movie makes a tweak to new one. But whatever, that's not the point. I'm glad... They're seeding little bits of it, so on and so forth. And it's not just new now, right? She's obviously a fan of Captain Marvel, so she'd want to keep those same color schemes. You can see, even in the picture, in the home screen, that those shoulder pads she's wearing on the costume, they're very similar to the shoulder pads that are on her Captain Marvel cosplay right now. I wouldn't be surprised if she reuses them. Then, when there's a Captain Marvel cosplay, she also had the feeling where it's, like, covering her lower area. She was, like, playing around with a scarf. That's why, whatever, you will see how she puts it together. There's no reason for me to try to stutter around and explain it right now. 
And yeah, I'm not sure what else to say, really. Great strides have been made this episode. Jamala has a brand new understanding of what's happening. And the cliffhanger ends with her in the past, kind of, who knows, flashback memory, where she can finally see this Trail of Stars train story that is such a big deal for some reason. What is it that this bangle wants to show her? Why is it that the bangle has an inscription, what you are searching for is searching for you, or something like that? I'm, those are mysteries I can't wait to figure out. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. What was your favorite part of this episode? Over here is the next reaction, whenever that comes out. Over here is a playlist of my videos, and on my face is the subscribe button. Like, comment, subscribe, criticize even. I don't mind. See ya.